Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Working on the 2003 Ford F-150. Gonna do a quick video on how to fix the shift indicator. Okay, so really quick here, I just wanna show you what it's doing. Uh, as you can see, I'm in park, but you can see the uh, shift indicator there is not uh, where it should be. You can see it's way off of the P there. So if I turn my key here and go to reverse, you can see it's pretty much at the neutral there. And then of course drive or neutral is in the drive position. So if I go all the way back up to park, you can see it's pretty much right at the R there for reverse. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to adjust this and uh, get it back to normal here. So first let's go ahead and remove this trim piece here. So what you'll do is just take your fingers and you'll pull towards you. You can see that kind of unclips and then you got a couple clips down right along here just pull out just like that and that kind of removes this piece here and if you have to you can turn your key go ahead and move your lever down and then you can kind of get this out of here and then go ahead and put it back in park next let's pull off this fuse panel cover here so you just pull out like that Next, grab a uh, seven millimeter. Let's go ahead and remove these two seven millimeter bolts there. And then just above that, you'll have another seven millimeter there, and then also one right here. So go ahead and remove those two. And then just to the right of the steering wheel here, you'll have another seven millimeter there. And then just below that down here by your OBD2 port, you'll have another one right there. And then if you take a look here at your hood latch, so if you kind of pull out on this, you can see right up in there, you got another seven millimeter. So go ahead and remove that one. You can see that kind of pulls down here. And then for your parking brake, you'll have the same thing. So pull out on this. And you can see it right there. And then you can see it's kind of on there by this little tab here. So just pull out a little bit. And you can see that just connects from there. Next, grab an eight millimeter. Let's go ahead and pull off these two bolts right here. Next, you'll want to just kind of pull this weather stripping back some. You can pull it off of here just a little bit. You can see that kind of releases that right there. So now let's see if we can uh, pull this off of here. So again, just make sure these are off of here. And then you should be able to just kind of pull down. That unclips like that. And then you can kind of feed this hood latch down here. Drop it down here so you can see. But you'll want to feed this through there. Just kind of like that, just to get out of the way. All right, guys, so if you take a look under here, um, hopefully you guys can see this. Let me zoom in here. But you can see that little black dial there. It's gonna be right here. This is what we use to uh, adjust that little uh, dial on the uh, shifter there. And then you can see you got this cable that runs up to the uh, shifter there. But the reason I'm doing this video is uh, because you can see this white plastic piece here. Uh, this has a tendency to break, which mine did. So that's why I want to do this video to show you guys. Um, you can see if I were to adjust this, I can pull on this cable here. You can see it just goes right back because that white plastic piece is broke up there. 
So I really can't adjust it. It just goes back to where it was. So I'm going to replace uh, this whole plastic piece here. So let's go ahead and uh, get that off. So what you want to do is grab a 732nd socket and let's go ahead and uh, remove that bolt there holding that white plastic piece on. And that's not on there tight at all. So next, you can go ahead and uh, kind of pull this off of here. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhook it from the uh, shift lever there. You can actually just kind of move this. And uh, just go ahead and unhook your cable there. So you can see right there. And then uh, you can go ahead and pull this off of there. What you want to do, just unscrew this. And then go ahead and pull this off. Okay, so let's take a look at our new and old one here. You can see, of course, this is the plastic one. And uh, you can kind of see where it just breaks off. So it's supposed to sit like that. And you can see it just broke. Uh, so I went ahead and got this one off of Amazon. I guess it's Aperfit or Aperfit, not really sure. But uh, there's the part number. I'll put a link in the description for it. I think it was right at 10 bucks is all. But you can see that it's upgraded to a uh, aluminum instead of the plastic. So hopefully this will help it from uh, breaking but you can see, if you compare them here, um, should be right at the same. Looks to be about the same there. And of course, that's broke. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, stick this one on now. Okay, so next, grab your new one. And then what you want to do is grab your little thumb wheel here. And just go ahead and kind of push that in place. It's kind of like that. And then what you'll do, grab your cable here. So it's going to go up and... In kind of like that so go ahead and stick this uh, cable through here and then what you want to do is just start uh, kind of tightening this just kind of get that started on there so I'm just gonna go about like that now let's go ahead and get this uh, cable hooked back up to the uh, shift lever there. So grab your cable here. Hopefully you guys can see this. And then just try and uh, hook that up on that hook there. You can kind of just get it wrapped around there. Maybe. You have to use your other hand here to get it in place there. It's kind of like that. Then go ahead and grab your uh, bolt there. And what we're going to do, just kind of pull on this. And then we'll get it up on that like that. Get your bolt ready here. And go ahead and screw that in. And tighten that up. So then what you want to do is come up here. And uh, as you can see, I'm actually pretty much spot on um so that was kind of lucky but if you do need to adjust it you'll turn that thumb wheel 
And let's see here. Let me go ahead and just show you guys. Reach under there. So if you go counterclockwise, that's going to bring it over to the right. And then if you go clockwise, you can see that's moving it uh, to the left. So you go counterclockwise, get right in the middle of the P here. So I'll think about right there. And then just go ahead and grab your key, turn it so you can go through each gear. So I'll go to reverse here. You can see now that's perfectly lined up, even when I just wiggle this. Neutral, same thing. Drive, second, and first. And then all the way back to park. So spot on right there. Now go ahead and grab the lower portion of your dash here. And uh, this is just my microphone wire for the Bluetooth. But uh, you'll see this little tab here that'll go up into this portion here of the dash. Let's go ahead and grab your hood release here. Get this kind of fed through like that. And go ahead and get this back up in here. And then you can kind of hit right here. And that'll kind of stay a little bit like that. Then grab your two eight millimeter bolts. And let's go ahead and uh, get this back up in there. Get my wire out of the way here. Then go ahead and get your brake and your hood back in place there. Get in this little tab here. That'll go in the second hole here. Grab your seven millimeter. And let's go ahead and tighten these two here. Then get your two that go underneath here. Get those kind of started. And tighten those up. Get your two that go right here and there. And then also get your uh, weather stripping here. Put that back in place. And you can go ahead and replace your uh, little fuse cover here. So then go ahead and do these last two here, going down by the OBD2 port. And then this one here. And then go ahead and grab your other uh, trim piece for right here. See if you can get that around here. Get that into place and then just push on it and you'll hear it click into place and it should be good. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. Again, this was a 2003 Ford F-150. Went ahead and replaced the shift indicator and then also adjusted the uh, cable as well. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, why don't you subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos 
and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.